Dave, you spent the whole day looking into this. What did you find? Yeah, Rip, they're trying to adapt as fast as they can, but they admit it's hard to keep up with a machine that could learn and evolve the more it's used. For those who want to abuse it, cheating on a paper, for example, they can do it with relative ease. However, some campuses are looking to embrace the new tech and use it as a learning tool. On college campuses in Metro Detroit and beyond, a Pandora's box of sorts has opened. We went on spring break and we came back and all of a sudden the whole world was AI. One of the most popular language models is ChatGPT, who, according to itself, is designed to generate human-like text responses to prompts instantly. That tech can open a lot of doors on college campuses. This is the future. The AI will help them understand it and like explain it in a way that they could uh, comprehend. But now that that door is open, it's hard to tell what's on the other side, especially when it comes to cheating. Any questions that you have, it kind of generates a, an answer for you. And just allow it to do things like writing essays and, and filling out those kind of things. We see it being used um, to assist in writing papers. I think one of the biggest dangers is that you're literally not getting what you're paying for, right? If you're coming for a college education, you're, you're coming to learn how to not use a tool, but rather how to think through why you would use a tool. Which is why college campuses everywhere are scrambling to develop a policy when it comes to AI abuse. What's acceptable and what's not acceptable. And that's the, the hard part that we're working on right now. And we frankly don't have any answers. Some universities are using current plagiarism models. It's against our academic integrity policies. But it's not foolproof. You can suspect something, but how can you prove it? Maybe AI can police itself. Turnitin.com, it's used all over the world, probably, um, but it's widespread and we've been using it to detect plagiarism for years and years. Okay. Um, and so that is also developing uh, the ability to detect AI generated text as well. There is a different approach since chat GPT can't form an opinion, adapt the curriculum. Learning through discussion or learning through exploration rather than just reading and writing. You really can't recycle assignments. Like ever. This approach embraces the AI rather than looking to punish its use. We're not discouraging students from using it at all. We're eventually it will be where we go to get information. Using it as a starting point rather than an end. Let me see your chat GPT. How can you change that to reflect you? Right? Maybe that's something that's a better way of starting. The trick now becomes learning to keep up with the AI which is also constantly learning itself. If you continue to ask it questions, it will continue to generate you better and better answers. It's a tool that's gonna to be a part of our lives forever. Now, in terms of cheating, Cleary University, for one, is using a three strikes and you're out approach. The hope is that students will have a chance to learn from their mistakes rather than looking for a quick ticket simply to a degree. Roop. I think one of the reasons we go to school is to try to learn how to think differently and how to solve problems on our own, not to let a computer do that. By allowing ChatGPT to do this for us, we're kind of letting, giving that up, aren't we? Yeah, and they said that in, in most instances, uh, students don't want to do this. This is kind of a last resort, a parachute. Like, it's crunch time. They're about nine minutes till it's due, and they're just saying, ChatGPT, help me out here. Write this paper for me. But you're right. I mean, they're trying to change the curriculum here to make sure that ChatGPT can't be the only option. Is this paper plagiarized? Ask the teacher to chat GPT, right? And then exactly. put in the text. Who knows? Dave Spencer, in a strange world we live in and one that's changing quickly. Thanks for that report.